Listen, I wasn't even planning to create this video today, but after what I just found on my Fire Stick, I had to stop everything and hit record. There's a secret app out there that basically turns your Fire Stick into a supercharged TV monster. I'm talking unlimited movies, non-stop sports, pay-per-view fights, and worldwide channels that you didn't even know existed. And the craziest part? You don't pay a single cent for it. Zero. If you want your Fire Stick to do things Amazon never tells you about, keep watching. I'm going to reveal exactly how to install it and set it up from start to finish. First, head to your home screen and locate the magnifying glass icon. Click down, then press the center button on your remote control. This opens up a keyboard. Now enter Downloader. It should pop up in the suggestions. Move down, select it, and press the center button. That brings you to the right app, which appears in orange, let's select it. This opens up the app's page. Simply press the center button once, and it begins downloading to your device. Allow it to reach 100%. Stay patient. Once it's complete, you'll see Launch Now. But don't open it just yet. Now that it displays Launch Now, hit the Home button on your remote. Next, we'll need to access your Fire Stick's settings for an important change. The quickest way there is to navigate all the way to the right on your home screen. A menu appears at the bottom. Move down, and we're searching for the option labeled My Fire TV. If it's a really old device, it could even display My Device instead. Whatever it's named or wherever it appears, that's what we need to select. Let's select it together. Once you select it, everyone's screen should appear fairly similar. My screen could be slightly different since I already have developer options. If you don't see it, no problem. I'll demonstrate exactly how to enable it. Simply go up and select About. Then, with your Fire Stick or Fire TV device selected, press the center button on your remote nine times. Following this, a message appears saying, You are now a developer. When you see that, hit the back button, and developer options will now appear on this menu. Okay, let's select developer options together. The very first item you'll see is ADB debugging. Press the center button once to enable it. A small box may pop up. Just move down and select allow. Next, select install unknown apps. Move down to downloader, then press the center button once to enable it. If you have an older Fire Stick, this option could be missing entirely. Instead, it could display apps from unknown sources, and you can only enable or disable it. If you see that, simply enable it. Now that we're ready, press the Home button on your remote. Now, we'll need to locate that new Downloader app. The fastest way to view all your apps is to navigate almost all the way to the end and select the icon with three squares and a plus sign. This displays every app you have. The newest apps always show up at the very bottom. Simply scroll all the way down and let's select Downloader together. A small box may pop up. Just press the center button to dismiss it. This app lets you visit almost any website. To do that, press the center button two times and a keyboard appears so you can enter a web address. Today, I'm going to bring us to a special website. I'll display the code on the screen as I enter it. Be certain to enter it exactly the same or you could get an error. Take your time. When you have the address entered correctly, select Go. Let's allow it to finish. This could take a moment or two. Just stay patient. If you see a connection error or a check link message, it indicates your connection is being blocked. Simply enable your VPN or change its location, and that should resolve the problem. As soon as the download is complete, it asks you to set up the app. Just move over and select Install. When the setup is finished, move over and select the Done button. Selecting Done returns us to this screen. We're going to move over, select Delete, and one more time, move over and select Delete. All right, everyone. That's everything we required from the Downloader app. Let's press the Home button. Next, we'll need to return to your Amazon Fire Stick's settings and modify one more thing. Remember, the simplest way to reach your settings is to navigate all the way to the end. Then, once more, press the center button on My Fire TV or My Device. 
Following that, select Developer Options, and one more time, access Install Unknown Apps. Go ahead and select that. This time, you'll see Unlin has shown up on the list. If you have other apps, simply scroll down until Unlin is selected, and just like before, hit the center button once to ensure Unlin is enabled. Now that everything's complete, press the home button one more time. We'll need to locate that new Unlin app. Again, just navigate over and select the icon with three squares and a plus sign navigate to the very bottom. And right there is the new Unlin app we just added. Let's launch it together. The first thing it requests is a new library. Press the center button on your remote two times, like that. Another keyboard appears, requesting the library code, Folks, I designed my own unique app store, providing access only to my viewers and followers. I worked hard to fill my store with only the finest, newest apps. All I request for my effort, maintaining the apps up to date, producing this video, and responding to your questions, is that you press the subscribe button. That simple action tells me thank you for providing all of this away for free. And a huge thank you to all my viewers who are already following me. Now that you're a follower, go ahead and enter this code. Make certain to take your time. It must be entered exactly the same, or you could get an error. If I'm going too quickly, just pause the video. When you have that code entered correctly, select Next and allow it a moment to load. Everyone, welcome to my special app store. I've filled it with 85 incredible apps for free on-demand content, sports, live TV, spicy content, and so much more. Many people request my favorites, and my top recommendations for cutting the cord are right here in the welcoming message. Also, many of you inquire why a VPN is so important with these apps. I've included a short message here, so please take a moment to read all the info on the welcoming screen. Once you've read everything, press the center button on your remote three times. This groups my store for you. Navigate up and down to see different groups or right and left for apps. Today, I'll demonstrate a few apps, how the store functions, how to add apps, and how to begin enjoying your free entertainment. Now scroll all the way down through the categories until you locate category number 15. Great YouTube examples. So the first app I want to download here is IP Vanish VPN. It's my top choice for keeping everyone safe and private while using all these great apps. Some people experience trouble downloading or even using apps because their internet provider blocks them. With IP Vanish VPN, you remain completely secure and can bypass any restrictions your internet company places on you and all of your devices. To download IP Vanish VPN, you can select it and press download. Or what I prefer to do to always obtain the latest version is return to the Fire Stick home screen, locate the magnifying glass, scroll down, select the search bar, and when the keyboard appears, enter IP Vanish. Sometimes you will need to enter it in fully to get it displayed. So just take your time here, enter it in exactly as I am. Then you'll see it in the suggestions. Select and press the center button. On this page, choose the app from the list and in this menu, press the center button to begin the installation process. Allow it a moment or two, just remain patient for a moment. It'll be finished soon and when it's installed, press the center button to launch the app. Now you can log in. Don't have an account yet? Well, I'll make it incredibly simple for you to obtain one so you can browse without worry and unlock all those fantastic apps. First, grab your phone or computer and launch your internet browser. Navigate to the website on the screen now. You can also point your camera at the QR code in the corner to navigate right there. I'll also include the website link in the description and comments below. Next, choose your plan. You can even select just one month to try it out and see the difference for yourself. When you get it, they'll send an email with your unique username and password. Once you have that, your Fire Stick will be completely safe and secure. Now, log into the IP Vanish app and select Connect. I also want to demonstrate a couple of settings. Select the gear icon on the IP Vanish app. A menu appears. I've highlighted Connect on Android Startup. If I press the center button and enable this, you won't need to worry about manually enabling your VPN on every time you power up. 
The VPN connects automatically, so you won't need to stop your movie to check if it's on. It'll do it for you. Okay, so now that we're completely safe, let's begin grabbing some of these awesome apps. Hit the home button and return to your apps, and once more, launch the Unlin application and return to the same category. Now, folks, I want to demonstrate the next five apps you should download to obtain free on-demand content, sports, and live content. You'll locate five more apps we can install in this category. It's also super helpful to carefully read the descriptions so you understand what each app is, what it does, and what you need to do. Here's the first one, and also, by far, my most recommended app you need. You'll see an app name that provides you live content, pay-per-view, and spicy content. Simply select it, press download, and we'll simply allow it to reach 100%. This could take a moment or two. Just stay patient. Depending on your internet speed, it could be super fast. We'll be moving on shortly. I promise, this part doesn't last forever. This is part of the process. Then, select Install App, move over, and select Install. Allow it a moment. Yeah, here we are waiting again. Stay with me. It'll be finished soon. Following that, it'll bring us right back into the store so we can grab more apps. Then, you'll locate an app name that offers you all the sports content. Simply select it and press Download. Here's the next progress bar. Allow it to fill up to 100%. I know, I know. It feels like the same step again, but this is part of the process. It shouldn't take long, so stay with me. Once you see the small box pop up, select Install App, move over and select Install. I get it, another wait. Just remain patient with this step too, we are almost finished. Also, here is an app name that offers you all the on-demand content. Simply select it and press Download. Just like before, allow it to load all the way to 100%. Stay with me, we're almost in the final stretch. A little patience and we'll be moving on shortly. Once you see the small box pop up, select Install App, move over, and select Install. I know, more waiting, but it won't take long, promise. Next up, you'll locate an app name that offers you all the movies and all the TV shows. Simply select it and press Download. Another download here. Just allow it to climb to 100%. Don't worry, we're getting close to the end. I promise the ending is nearby. Once you see the small box pop up, select Install App, move over and select Install. I know, another pause? Just a little patience and we'll move on. Now, some apps in my store require a separate player to work correctly. The app you just installed for movies and TV shows is one of those you'll actually see in its title that it mentions requiring this other player app. It might seem a bit confusing now, but when you read its description here or when you're using the apps, you'll see it and it will all make sense. So, let's download that app player now. You'll locate an app name that's the required player. Select Download. Here's the next progress bar I know. It feels like the same step again, but this is part of the process. This should be the last ones, I promise. Once the small box pops up, select Install App, move over and select Install. Another short wait here. Just remain patient, we're nearly through it. Folks, it's that easy. We just installed five awesome apps. There are 85 in my store, so please don't limit yourself to the small examples I demonstrated today in this video. My top favorite apps you will locate in category number one, top apps. The apps in that category are my absolute favorites. I use them daily. Explore the store and download as many of the apps as you want to try. They are all free, so feel free to download all of them if they can fit on your device. But now that you've downloaded everything you want, let's press the home button. Because once more, I want to go and locate all those apps we just put on. And if you recall from earlier in the video, all you need to do is select that icon with three squares and a plus sign. It displays all your apps. So, what I want you to do is select one of those new apps, then press the three lines button, also known as the menu button, on your remote A menu pops up. Select where it says Move to Front. You'll see the app move from the bottom to the top. 
Now press the home button here. From the home screen, where you always begin, you'll have easy access to those apps right here. You won't need to search for them. Now folks, I know that we downloaded some fantastic apps that offer us free movies, TV shows, sports, live TV, and pay-per-view. Before you ever launch any of those apps, I always strongly suggest that you enable your VPN on first. Folks, I just want to express my sincere thanks to all my followers. It truly means a lot and helps me immensely. I cannot thank you enough for taking time out of your day to help me achieve a goal. I look forward to your comments and seeing you very soon in the next video.